Hey guys, so welcome back to another quick tech tutorial with your girl Risa on the Risa's campus. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make a duplicate of yourself like this using the Max tool in CapCut. I'm also going to show you how you can easily create the disappearing effect. So without wasting much time, let's get right into the tutorials. So I'm going to quickly start by going to my gallery to check on the video to make sure it is there. So our video is there. So the next thing is to open up our video editing app, which is CapCut. And next we're going to import our videos. Now click on the plus sign to import. And we're going to choose the video. Now we're going to start with the first video. So we're going to start by previewing the video. Click on it to preview. So this is the first video where I am standing on the left side. I'm going to import the video by clicking the add button. So the first video has been imported. Now when you're recording your video, you have to actually record twice. Okay. Since I have to do a duplicate of myself. When you're recording your video, make sure you do not move your phone from the same position. So you have to record the two videos from the exact same position. And the videos have to be under the same lightning for it to have this seamless effect. Okay. Now the first one is, as you can see, I am going to the left. And when I'm done, I'm going to record another video where I am going to the right. So once this video is imported, the next thing is to import our next video. So come down here and click overlay. Click add overlay. And then now choose the second video where you recorded it going to the right. So this is the video. I'm just previewing the video right here. So once that is done, I'm going to click on the add button to import the video. And then what the next is to just adjust my video by using my fingers. Next is to select our second clip, tap on it and come down here. Just scroll to the left and you're going to see mask. Click mask and click the split tool. Once that is done, just use your finger on the screen and adjust the line like so until it's 90 degrees. Okay, so once that is done, just come to the bottom and click the tick. So I'm going to quickly preview it and see how it's looking. Just play. Click on the play button. So you can see that I am now a duplicate. So these are two different clips, two different videos that have been um, turned into one using the Max tool. So I'm going to adjust the clip so that they are exactly the same okay as you can see so you're going to see some differences so you're, go you're just going to make sure you adjust it with your fingers to make sure the clips are aligned the same this part is very important the adjustment part so try as much as possible to adjust the clips so that they have no significant differences now if you take a look these clips have two different colors so what we're going to do is to select the overlay click go to adjust we're going to try to adjust the color so that they have um they look the same so we're going to start with the saturation we can just play around you can play around with the saturation the contrast exposure you can just play around here with these tools so that your clips look exactly the same so as you can see my i'm changing the color of my of the second clip which is the overlay clip and i'm going to make it look exactly almost exactly like the first clip okay so our aim here is to make our first clip our, or our second clip look like the first clip so right here you can play as much as you want with the exposure with the um, saturation i mean you can just try it and work with it so that your clips can look the same 
so once that is done or once you, if you take a look at your video and you see that everything is looking almost um the same you can click the tick tool and go to the next step okay next we're going to go back to the clip so as you can see this one the second clip is longer than the first clip so what we're going to do now is to cut out the just reduce the second clip and to do that we're going to come here highlight the clip and then go to the split tool and then click split and then we're going to go to delete and delete it now they are are the same length next is to add the disappearing effect and we can only add the disappearing effect on the overlay clip so you can just go to where you want the disappearing to take place click there and split split it and then just drag the other half of the clip and you're going to see there's a space in between the clips so that's where the disappearing is going to take place okay so you can just play to preview it let's play again so that is it so you can add the disappearing effect wh wherever you want again i want the disappearing effect to happen here with our overlay clip again you can only do it with the overlay clip so what i'm going to do is to just drag out or split out the uh, the length of our second video and delete it out and then on the first clip just drag it out so that it continues okay and then next what we're going to do now is play as you can see disappears and appears and as it comes here it's going to disappear so the second clip or the second person has disappeared again you can always split out a section if in case the lightning is too vis the difference in lightning is too visible so that's another tip now once make sure that when you're recording your video it is under the same lightning and the camera does not move from the position so it has to be on the exact same position that you're recording the first video next we're going to add a sound effect to where our second person is disappearing okay just to give it this dramatic look or dramatic effect so we're going to go to audio go to effects click on effects and on the search bar where you're going to enter a sound just type in appearance and you're going to see magical appearance you can play to preview it and then click the plus sign and it's going to add like this so we're going to just adjust the clip so that the the sound happens exactly when the our second person is disappearing from the scene and then we're going to duplicate again and put it when the person is just entering the scene again when the person is appearing in the into the scene we're going to duplicate and then go to the section where it's disappearing again so we're going to use this effect all over um all to on um, all the points or parts where the disappearing and appearing is taking place now once you're done with your video you can simply just export your video into your gallery you can also add the background music to your video before you export it if you like and so guys that is how you can make a duplicate of yourself using CapCut. i hope you enjoyed this video please do not forget to leave a thumbs up share the video and also do not forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to the channel thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next video